Hello and welcome. I'm back at the Job Dean Ice Cave in Madison Lake Highlands volcanic area. I made a video here before, um, but I decided on this day to go back. I, this is the day that I went to look for the Mayfield Ice Cave and the, the water caves. And both cases I was not successful, so I decided to go back here and at least to a location where I knew um, to find the cave and like I said I've been here in this one before but not as deep as I wanted to go now um, this cave you you do find ice uh, throughout the summer and before I didn't go as deep as to be actually on the ice. I wanted to go do that now, so that's what I'll show you now. So this is a look inside the cave. It's not as easy to see, but there are, there are actually two layers. So at the very top there is a cavity that's now totally dark, and then there is a a, like a floor layer in the middle and then underneath that floor so that's now illuminated the cavity above it in dark is difficult to see because um, the light didn't reach there but this is a like an intermediate floor layer and then below that is the portion of the cave with the ice. So that's where I'm going in now. You can already see the ice. And when you are here it's uh, totally quiet and you hear the dropping of the, the water it's a really nice, quiet, calm environment to be in. And I'm not sure how obvious it is on, on this video, but the ice forms a bit of a hill. So where I'm standing now, that's the top of the ice hill, and then on all sides it goes down pretty steep, maybe like on a 45 degree angle. So I couldn't act really go in deeper or else I would just slide down um, the ice, especially in this direction. It looked like there was more to explore down there, that you can go deeper, but um, I didn't have any other equipment with me, a robe or something, That because if you try to go deeper in here, you should really have a, a rope or ice pick or something to be able to climb up that uh, block of ice. Because as it is now, it looked too steep and too difficult, or yeah, too difficult, impossible to just climb just with uh, regular shoes and on hands and knees. I don't think I would be able to make it up if I were to glide down there. Although there are many rocks in the ice, so it may be possible, but I'm not that adventurous of a person. Just being here and looking around, that was interesting and good enough.
and as you saw as I entered this cave, this really isn't that deep. If um, if I were to turn around, you can see the where I came in. You can hear on at the top of the video. You can see the light coming in the entrance. So it's really not deep, but still, it's 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 ice here. It's cold, very cold. Well, not very cold. I'm just walking around in my shorts and uh, short sleeves and very well bearable, but yeah, there's ice here. Definitely a, a big temperature drop compared to the outside where it is a really hot summer day at this moment. I think it was 90 degrees Fahrenheit outside that day. So, very hot. And like I said, it's really has a really peaceful feeling to be inside these caves, inside the earth. The lake that's close by is called Madison Lake. And I think to the indigenous people from this area, this is a in some ways a sacred location and a healing location and you can definitely feel that when you are here very remote very peaceful so you were i was trying to illuminate the higher portion of that cave, like I said, are two layers, two cavities, one on top of each other. And all the, the few times that I was in this cave, I have never tried, um, if it is possible, to get into that upper cavity. Uh, might be, but not deep and all the interest is here down here where the ice is anyway to get, to get a sense of the remoteness of this cave this is 20 some 25 miles I think from the nearest highway. So to get here you have to drive 25 miles of uh, forest road. Most of it is um, paved and well maintained. Actually when I was here a few weeks ago they were redoing the whole surface area of one section of the road that was full of potholes before, so now it's again better accessible. So many people come here with campers and boats to go to Madison Lake, the camping ground there. Anyway, here I'm scrambling, climbing out of the cave again. And this direction that they're looking into now, going north towards Madison Lake, is an area that's called the Deep Caves. And I have another video coming up 
or actually I already had one before, where I found one of those deep caves. And after this, I'm going to explore that area again. And I'll show you another video of one of those deep caves that uh, will be one of my upcoming videos. So, hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a wonderful day and thank you. Goodbye.